All right, y'all, what you're about to see is triggering. My anxiety is through the roof, but I have been cleaning, cleaning, cleaning like a fiend for the past two days. My bathroom is spotless. The girls' room and their bathroom is spotless. I have been cleaning walls, door frames, door handles, light switches, just cleaning it all. And now I've saved the worst for last. And I thought I would bring you along with me. Are you ready? Brace yourself. Get a cup of coffee or some tea or a nice glass of wine or a tall jug of water because what I'm about to show you is intense. Look at this. So let me explain, okay? We have been pulling out all their winter stuff. The girls' stuff, winter stuff is here. We have donation bags and trash bags. And I have just been putting stuff in here. These need to be washed. I don't know. I just stopped doing laundry. I did. I just stopped doing laundry. I don't know why. I just did. And now it's like this. And I have a lot of cleaning supplies because I've been buying a lot. My cleaning rags because I've been cleaning. All this area right here just needs something needs to be done with it. Excuse my bra. <laughs> my husband hung it there to dry instead of hanging it on the clothing rack. Anyway, all this needs to be cleared out. All this needs to be cleared out. Those are clean, those are clean. I just need to do something right now with this. I don't want to, because like I said, I've been cleaning, cleaning, cleaning. But honey, I cannot take this anymore. Something has got to get done. So if you have something that you've been putting off, do this with me, because trust me, there is not an ounce of me that wants to do this right now. But I have to just push through and get it done. Several hours have passed, I'm not gonna lie. I took a long break after I filmed the before <laughs> and I had to get some work done and I came in here to just get it manageable so that we can walk in here. And I moved all the um, cleaning rags and stuff and um, hand towels in there. They need to be sanitized, ran a sanitized um, cycle on my washing machine. I still have all of this girl, okay? Those are my supplies, this is the rest of the clothes. I did two loads of laundry. Praise God. Okay, so we still have to wash that. Um, the three donation bags, and then this is all trash here in the middle. So we're getting there. We are getting there. So it's a lot better, I would say. But this is going to be a stopping point for the day. This is going to be a several day, multi day project because oh, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know because I like this is the stuff I use the most right up here so it's like I gotta figure out how I'm gonna store all this stuff <sighs> I guess we'll figure it out together tomorrow all right y'all it's the next day next evening actually I used that mask today I was out all morning so I've got to finish this up I have got to finish this up today the laundry looks good um, that's some of their uniforms that I'm gonna wash. The girls actually saw me yesterday and they were like, mommy, we wanna help you. And I was in my bathroom. Next thing I turn around, I come out and they found these um, 
containers and they put all the cleaning supplies in there. They're so sweet. So it's time for me to finish the rest. This is a much more daunting task than I anticipated. I just don't know how to fit what I need in this space um, without getting another shelving unit. I feel like that's what I'm gonna need to get because there's like lots of little attachments because I have such high ceilings. I have these like attachment things for my tall sticks and um, tall sticks, <laughs> my tall dusting wands. Let me show you. Like this came, comes with like a million attachments. I have my like Rubbermaid quick wet mop, my broom, my O cedar mop. I have my bucket. And then I have like my laundry supplies and stuff. And I don't want to keep this stuff up here. And this just shelving, just, just using this shelving isn't going to work. And then the cabinets I feel like are not useful at all because it's just too, I cannot reach it over the, the height of my washer and dryer. So what do I need to do? I feel like I need to utilize the cabinets. Maybe try to put the stuff, I need to pull all this stuff out, put the stuff that I don't use the most or excess in there. This is just a way more daunting task than I thought. I thought this was gonna take me one day at the most and or a couple of hours each, you know, for two days and it's just taking me way more and I just don't have the mental energy to do this right now, but I cannot, it's driving me crazy. My haul is driving me crazy. Everything on that wall is either donate or trash. And then I still, I'm getting through the loads that I need to wash, like I'm washing all my cleaning rags right now. I still have, um, like dish towels and stuff to wash here. And I have their uniforms to wash and all of this. I don't even know what this is to wash. So I'm getting there. At least this is empty and I'm doing the cleaning rags, girl. But I'm just like, oh. All right, y'all. New day, new energy. I am knocking this out today. Today. We have our three bags of donations that I'm going to take downstairs. We have our cleaning supplies that the girls graciously offered to organize for me. I have my piles of laundry that I need to do. Those are new clothes that my mom bought. I have to wash those. These are some more clothes and then a load is washing right now. Last night I washed half my cleaning rags and um, I'll wash the other half today as well. So I have like one, two, three more loads of laundry. Now, when I was out this morning, I snagged a deal from Walmart. This three shelf metal storage rack was only $9.94. It's 24 inches wide, which is perfect for this area over here. It's, it just fits, it's gonna fit perfectly right here. Just to give me some more shelving units for my cleaning supplies and not feel like I have to constantly reach over here. Of course, I'll put the stuff that I don't use as much up here, but um, in the cabinets, but I, I just, I'm tired of looking at all of this, if you know what I mean. These are the stuff that I use the most. So I'd like to move that over here on this shelving unit and utilize this shelving unit and have any excess in the cabinets. But um, I gotta get to it, y'all. I just gotta get to work. All right, y'all. So I need to wipe these floors down and I don't even know what those spots are over there. Wipe it down. Sorry, my washing machine is going, but we're just gonna speed through it with some music.
while my bucket's filling up, I want to tell you how much I've been enjoying these Walmarts pull a clean towel box. Um, I'm enjoying this. It just you just grab and go, grab and go. Now I've got to figure out what to do once I use them all, how to put them back in the box like this. Cause it's just so convenient to just grab a clean rag every time you need it. Since, you know, we don't have anyone coming to clean our house anymore. I'm you did literally doing all the cleaning. And so it's just so convenient to have this. Okay. I'm going to get a little bit of Tide here. I'm like obsessed with this water bleach and Tide. I literally clean everything. I don't measure it. I'm just guessing how much. Tide is pretty concentrated and strong, so you don't need a lot of it. So I'm going to wipe down all of these walls. This is a really hard um, room to film in because first of all, the lighting is very yellow and it's kind of odd the way that this door is placed. Um, I have the natural light coming from the window, but it's just kind of yellow in here. So just bear with me all. We're going to get through this today. All right, I'm gonna wipe down all the walls. I'm gonna get whatever this crap is on the floor up. I'm gonna wipe all those dusty baseboards off. I'm also going to clean the side of my washing machine. Um, I'll probably just use plain water for that. I'm not sure about the water bleach and tide, but the water bleach and tide is safe for me to use on my walls. I've done it and it works great. And on the baseboards and of course my floors. So let's get to it. Again, this is plain water I'm using here. I don't want to use the bleach or anything on here. You don't want to use bleach on anything that you don't know how it's going to react with. You know, just keep it safe. Test your walls. Don't just wipe your whole wall down. Test your walls. I did a test batch and everything was fine for me, so. Put my gloves on because you don't want all that bleach on your hands. Dust first. I wanna show you guys how this works. So, you see that little mark right there? I'm sorry, the camera's having a really hard time because my walls are kinda tan, the same color as the lighting. So you see that mark right there? This mark right here, okay? I'm gonna wipe, 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 wipe. Gone. Here's another one, okay? Wipe. Gone. Here is a big one right there. I don't know if you can see it on camera, but this is a big scratch. So the water bleach and tide does wonders on your door. Um, just little marks and stuff that accumulate on your door. Not necessarily the door handle, but the actual door itself. Like this little dirt here. Just gonna wipe up. I'm not gonna do the handles because I don't wanna ruin the finish on the handles. So I just use vinegar and water for the handles. The door itself can be wiped down as well as the door frames. Okay, so I wiped down 
this wall as well. But now I'm gonna do the light switch. I'm gonna use the water bleaching tide. I'm gonna wring out the rag really well. And then I'm gonna wipe down the switch. But let me show you what else I'm gonna do because my OCD is on full rage right now. Okay. Wipe down this wall. All right, let me show you what I'm gonna do. So I've zoomed in here so you can see what I'm doing. I have a Q-tip here. I dipped it in the water bleach and tied a little bit. So I'm cleaning this little nook right here. Look at all this dirt. Now if this isn't satisfying, I don't know what is. Girl, I'm putting on today. Okay, now you gotta do the top. The top isn't as bad, but I find that that bottom part, all the dust and just debris, and then I take the dry end of the Q-tip and dry it off in there. But this light switch is completely clean now. It's little differences like that that like really make your house like pristine. I'm noticing, I'm learning so much. Can you tell I've been inspired by Go Clean Co on Instagram? Cause she is making me girl clean my light switches. Usually I just wipe it down with the Clorox wipe really fast. When I do a deep clean like this, I do the light switches and you see how filthy both ends are. Girl, I'm on it today. All right, so now that I have this area nice and clean, my walls are looking great. I don't know if you can tell a difference on camera, but I can tell a huge difference, y'all. It's those little things that really help, like I said, make your house look pristinely clean. Things that we just don't think about cleaning. All right, so now that this is clean, I'm gonna go ahead and open up my three shelf metal rack. Let's hope it's easy to assemble, girl, cause I don't know. I hope I don't need any tools, <laughs> but we will see. Um, I'll try to link this if I can in the description box, but just check your local Walmart for, I wanted a plastic one, but since this was on clearance for nine bucks, I was like, let me go ahead and get this. I was just gonna get a white plastic one originally. All right, let's get this. Looks like this was reopened and bought back because the way that the box is all taped up. why this is on, was only $9 and it was on sale. Would you like to see? Of course you would. Because it's bent up. This piece is really bent badly. If you can see that there, it's supposed to be straight like this. This is like this, it's like twisted. There you go, that's a better angle. Oh well, I'm just going to hammer this out. Okay, look at me being all <sighs> DIYZ. And I'm really not a DIY person, but I'm going to have to hammer this out, girl, because I'm not, I'm already going through this trouble. I just need to make this work. Uh, looks good, right? Besides it being bent up, but it's, it's still functional and it's fine. The good thing about this is that I can buy another one of these and stack it if I wanted to. Of course, that's kind of high and I feel like I'd need to attach it to the wall or something. Um, I just feel like that would be dangerous. Not that my kids really climb on furniture, but you know, it's just better to be safe than sorry. But yeah, so I have some extra of these little cap things here and stuff like this I have no idea what to do with. What am I gonna do with this? It'll get lost if I don't put it away. All right, I'm gonna have to think about it. That was the hard part. So I feel like I should be able to, even though it's still a mess in here, I should be able to breeze through now that I have this area clean, that area clean, and I can start stacking my stuff.
Laura is so kind in helping me rearrange. <laughs> I have her up on top of the washing machine, I know. Mommy, I'm standing here. This? Just put it up in the middle, baby. Okay. So I can put my larger, um, like the bleaches and the vinegar and stuff can go um, there and I can easily reach it, so. Thank you, baby. All right, y'all, I'm on the final stretches here. I'm just um, folding my cleaning rags. I'm gonna use this basket for my cleaning rags, I believe. And I, these are my mop heads. I bleached all of this stuff. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just try to put all the cleaning, you, you um, cleaning utensils, is that? Cleaning accessories. <laughs> Organize those all. All right, y'all, we're on the final stretches here. And I've got to clean off this top. I don't know if you could see how dirty it is, but it's pretty dirty. Just taking a wet rag here. Cleaning off the top. I really love these grab rags. I forgot to tell you how much they were. They were $9.99 for the box, which isn't bad. I have a lot of cleaning rags that I don't need anymore at all. I hate that these are so tall. I wish that I didn't put them on the risers like I did all those years ago. That was like all the rage. And then I would be able to reach my cabinets more. But it's okay. It's all good. Nice and clean here. Okay, let's do the other one. That's pretty nasty. All right, y'all, I'm finally done. I can't even tell you how many hours this took because it took several days for me. I don't even know what time it is. I've been up here for so long. Um, but I'm finally done. Are you ready? You remember what it looked like before, right? Oh my gosh. Look at it. It is so clean. My laundry room has never looked this great before. You remember with this corner, this is the corner that just bugged me the most and now it's like looks so good. Sorry, these are the two cleaning rags that I cleaned with. But it looks so good. I'm, I am really thinking about getting another one of those to put on top. But I love having this space just cleared off. It just, and then folding up the um, ironing board to put it away, it just, Oh, it's so nice. I'm able to put my excess stash of disinfecting wipes and Lysol. I have a video coming out tomorrow actually about how I've been able to find Lysol, Clorox wipes, um, and everything and what my strategy is because it's literally a strategy nowadays to try to find that kind of stuff. But I have all my mops and stuff over there. My bucket here. I'm gonna roll my vacuum in here. Um, my our upstairs vacuum and I have all my excess stuff up here i have like a lot of hand soaps um my little lysol cleaner and this is what i used to, to make my diy lysol sprays and then extra soap and cleaners and hand sanitizers and stuff like that i just use bins that i had at home i mean of course i'd like to be all matching you know wooden baskets but girl it is what it is i'm not about to spend money on that but yeah, I'm just really happy. Oh, this took me so many days. In that um, laundry basket, I have all of my cleaning accessories and like my mop heads and stuff like that. And then in here, I have my cleaning rags that are clean, ready to go. I have my little cleaning caddy with the stuff that I use most and my mop. And then that's the attachment for our dryer um, in case I wanna lay something flat. Then I have all my laundry baskets in this corner. It just makes it seem so much bigger. Now, I'm not even gonna tackle the linen closet, girl, because that's another day. That's another project for another day. I mean, it's not horrible, but definitely needs a refresh. I haven't done this. The very first video I ever posted on YouTube was of me redoing this closet. And Zara was so little, she was so cute. And I have not redone this closet since then. And that was in 2013, seven years ago. Uh, crazy, right? So. But it's not bad, I'm just happy. I'm really, really happy with this. I'm really proud of myself. Now see the glisten on my face. I mean, I'm, I look so extra moisturized, but it's really sweat. 
my wall has a clean girl um I can't be in here doing that too long because I see more things like I just saw something with my eye that I feel like I want to go get the water bleach and tide for it and clean it up but you know I just have to let it go most of it is clean you know because you can kind of I can kind of get crazy with that like I could be in here all day find marks to scrub off but it is what it is girl my laundry room is clean and I'm really happy thank you guys so much for coming along with me I know this is not my normal Sunday setup but this, I, this is just something that I have been wanting to do and I knew it was going to take me several days and I'm so glad I take did it how I clean this room that's how I cleaned my master bedroom my master bathroom the girls bathroom and their bedroom I'm just taking my time warm by room to do a deep clean and I have a big house and it's gonna take me a while but it is what it is so thank you guys so much for watching if you haven't hit that subscribe button yet you can tap my picture up above and you can also check out my previous video right over here and all of my social media platforms all listed down below thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video bye